ever since I met Maria, I have just always thought that she is a fountain of knowledge. Because she's just really invested in her students and cares if they succeed or if they don't succeed and just really pushes them to their limits so they can be a better actor. I found in Maria honestly one of the most dedicated teachers that uh, I've ever had in my academic career. Um, she's, she's always willing to help students um, take time out of her own day to, to go the extra mile for students and it honestly blows me away the level of dedication. to hurt anybody. I don't like hurting anybody, but sometimes people just won't listen. So I have to use persuasion and slides. My parents, Sharon and Dave, generous, doting, or were they? All I ever wanted was a ballerina Barbie and her pretty pink tutu. My birthday, I was 10. Do you know what they got me? Malice! Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to feel comfortable? I don't know. This one you know you found somebody special. And you can just shut the fuck up for a minute and come to go share silence. Well, I don't know if we're quite there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. Tell you what. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and pat on my nose while you sit here and think of something to say. Uh. Mm. Who's Venice, huh? Who? 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 What are you? Fucking owl? Who is she? I don't know what the f Some hooker you were with last night? What the fuck are you- No, no way, baby, no! You were calling her name in your sleep. Are you out of your fucking mind? I don't even know who Venice is. Yeah. You're a father now. I know, And yes. you're still acting like an infant! God damn it, baby! You, you got real anger issues, you know, you got psychological problems. Who was the one who flew in here at 3 in the morning on their stupid helicopter and woke up Skylar? Oh, oh, that was you. oh, Skylar. Oh, fucking bullshit. Does it even matter to you that I just had that driving range sodded with Bermuda crash, Jordan? Deal, Carmen. My deal, Pamela, is that you look like shit. You're really gonna come in here and judge me for flirting with somebody? Well, you've been fucking my husband for how many years? You don't have any fucking clue what's going on. I got a ring on my finger. We've got a child together. Honey, what are you doing with this guy? He's old, he's chauvinistic. He's fun. He's fun? How is he fun? He's like wrong. Wrong can be fun. Not this wrong. Who's gonna pay the mortgage? We'll just leave it all up to Caroline. You mean you don't mind taking care of everything now, Caroline? No, I don't mind. Are you sure? Nope, I don't mind. Will someone pass the damn asparagus? In 2006, I played in the salt flats. There is where I met Ruth. We fell in love. Every Valentine's Day, she would send me roses. And oh God, we had so much. Those were the best three years of my life. 2010, they came. And then after that, there were no more roses. Not for anyone. After the takeover, they started rounding up all the gays. They took Ruth while she was out buying food. Just why do they, why are they so frightened of us? Well, Marcellus fucked her up good. They weren't around the campfire, it was on account of Marcellus's husband. <sighs> well, what'd she do, fuck him? No, 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 not that bad. Yes, it has. Hasn't it? Be my guest. <laughs> you can use my straw, I don't have cooties. But maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. God damn, that's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told you. I mean, I don't know if it's worth the five dollars, but it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I killed Paul Allen with an axe in the face and his body is dissolving in Hell's Kitchen. I don't want to leave anything out here. So I guess I've killed 20 people, maybe 40. Fucking bullshit. Does it even 
something matter to you that I just had that driving range sodded with Bermuda grass, Jordan, and now you fucking wrecked it. Oh my god, Bermuda grass? No, you didn't research the whole thing and deal with the fucking golf course people. Oh my god, you had to deal with the golf course people too? What a great tragedy, honey. Oh my god, you probably had to pay them in cash with your hands. What a fucking burden. And do some actual work besides swiping my fucking credit card all day. Because I can't keep up with your professions, honey. Last month you were a wine connoisseur, now you're an aspiring landscape architect. Let me get that right. What are you doing, Gary, my child? Why didn't you just get rid of it when you had the chance? Because listen, listen, which God you had. And it's a, my avocation, it's my passion. I had students have such great talent mm -hmm. uh, and creativity, so it's wonderful to be a part of their training process and getting them ready for what is expected of them in the professional world. It belonged to my mother. She told him to give it to me when the time was right. The inscription says, to my Susie, may you always reach for the stars. Best I can do. Once the cover is off the control box, you'll have to go in very, very gently. Their sanctuary was destroyed by South Vietnamese soldiers. A saboteur took refuge there, and their entire pagoda was destroyed by rockets. Just to kill one man. My brother is a defector, and that is all anyone has to know. Colonel, don't ask me to choose between the safeness of my brother or the safeness of my parents. Yes. Okay. We're getting married. Okay, then what's going on inside the beautiful head of yours? Well, I'm gonna be under the same roof with my kids. I mean, what do you think? That's what I've been dreaming of for 18 years. Would you like to kiss me? Actually, I'd rather hold your hand. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. I tell you what, I'll take off my gloves if you take off you. It's your gloves that excite me. I see. But naked hand. Not here. Your place? Not now. I was with SB before Alish defected. I was sick of their tactics. We both were. That is why we wanted to escape. Alish is my husband. How could you dream I would hurt him? Please. I want to be with my husband. <laughs> Don't you say anything about Jerry Louis, Mr. McLeod. Please, you, you don't have to call me Mrs. René. Mais il est vraiment cowboy. <laughs> What's he say? He wants to know if you really are a cowboy. Oh, tell him I'm his grandpa. Should I be? I nearly killed our child. That's not true. You saved Susan's life. Thomas, we could have lost her, and I've never seen her. Do you have any idea what that means? I've never seen her. <laughs> Susan loves you. You love her. That's all you have to see. That's all anyone ever has to see. I know. I know, Thomas. But I would give my life to see her child. Do you want to put that thing away so that we can talk? Go ahead. I'm listening. Poor women are dead. They've been listed in the obituaries as suicides. But I think you might want to look at it further.
detected a little bit of sweet. And I'm sorry to say that the kitchen lit up. Um, Amy lost a lot of blood there. Oh, God. oh my god. If you master all these Cinco D's bitches, no amount of balls on earth can hit ya. Yeah. Aren't we like supposed to learn by dodging balls that are like thrown at us or something? That's what we have the big stack of hard wrenches for. What? If you could dodge a wrench, you can dodge my balls. Huh? <laughs> oh! Let us know how it ends. No, I just had a sandwich. No, 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 taste it, taste it. No, 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 I don't want cantaloupe now. You've never had cantaloupe like this before. I only have cantaloupe at certain times. Jim, this is great cantaloupe. All right. Oh. Oh. Good. Yeah, it's very good time. cantaloupe. Yeah. Good. I got it at Jolt's. And there you are as the actor. You're seated in your position or you're standing on your mark. And you have to stay focused. You have to stay in character. You have to be energized. You have to be emotionally engaged. You have to know what you want, what you need. You have to understand what the struggle of the character is, what the objective is, and how many actions you're going to have to play in order to accomplish your objective. And if you don't accomplish your objective, what are you going to do? How is that going to affect you? How is that going to affect you emotionally? Can anybody learn how to act? Absolutely. Anybody? Absolutely. You know why? Why? Because everybody is unique. Everyone brings their own sensibilities, their own persona to characters that they play. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think anybody can act. Now what advice would you give to somebody that wants to get into the acting industry? Well, definitely study. <laughs> study, uh, go to open calls, yes. uh, submit to agencies. Uh, participate and you can participate start off in community theater student films okay and go from there